another way to help them um, with the discourse routines is then to have this explanatory language frame that, that links language to authentic context. So if we're investigating in science and um, reading informational texts, we want to explain and talk about these phenomenon and what causes or um, something else to happen. And it builds facility with causal language. One of the things that we know is words like so and because or these um, what are sometimes called signal words are um, have meaning only in their use. So because I can't give a definition for it, but it is a critical word in um, when it comes to explaining a phenomenon. And children need to understand that what comes before the word because is related in a very special way to what comes, the words that come after the word because. And um, so is, um, is another one of those words that is critical that way. And we've been working with kindergartners and first graders using particularly these two words, because and so, and are finding that um, they're able to acquire and be able to use these words um, correctly in talking about their science what they know about science, when in fact um, it's oftentimes not till children are eight years old or older that they start using the words so and because accurately. So again, just underscoring the fact that science is really a good way to do that. Um, it supports the understanding of content and it, it supports their thinking. When we are actually designing our curriculum, we don't want um, just one opportunity to have these rich discussions. Um, usually throughout the um, I, one single unit, we try to um, identify the explanation that is the target explanation, what we want the kids to know, and then establish what the explanatory language frame needs to um, to include in order for kids to get to that rich explanation. And again, we're thinking very carefully across the unit, what is the, the science standard, what is the performance expectation, and then crafting the explanatory language frame to get the children, to help the children get to that point, to give them the language structures that will help them then explain the phenomenon in ways that um, match the, the standards. 